Ask sellers with tough questions every 30 days into the listings. Are you willing to do whatever it takes to get this home sold? And then listen to the answer. If the answer tells you that, you know, that the answer will tell you, hey, reduce the price. If the people are really need to be in New York in the next 30 days, they will do everything. Huh? How come we're not reducing the price? We do. I mean, we get tough questions. I mean, I know Charlie goes and every time it, one of the acquisitions is not, should we do it? Yeah, we do it. I mean, we've done it several times in a lot of properties until there is a point where, you know, there is no, no profit. We sold the property at a less profit than what we expected originally, but we reduced the price so the property sells. Uh, ask that to uh, Anna on Lancaster, you know. Uh, we started at 239, we went to 229, we went to 219, and now the property is asking 209. <gasps> That's that was, uh, wow. That is uh, Lancaster. What's the listing? King Tree. King Tree. King Tree. Granada. King Tree in Granada. I mean, in, in uh, Lancaster, we have had three or four price reductions already okay. in the three months that we have hold the property. So yes, we are actively reducing the price in order to get the property sold and off our books. Okay. Um, then there's always, you know, at the end of 60 days, on 39, he says, requalify the seller for motivation. Uh, you need to extend that listing, lower the price, offer a higher commission, or we can sell your property, okay? And you gotta give the listing back, because it doesn't help, it costs money. For some of the companies that are spending a tremendous amount of money on advertising, and sending postcards and sending this, it costs a lot of money to carry a listing. The sign, if it's not gonna sell, you're spending a, a tremendous amount of money on a listing that doesn't sell. It's not worth it. So you gotta go back and reconsider from day one, should I take this listing? Is this listing gonna sell and I'm gonna be recouping my cost of my flyers and signs and lock boxes and all of the my operating expenses that I do on the property, okay? The other one, of course, is, you know, on the other ones, and, and, and for about time, you know, it's almost 4 o'clock, it says, update the comments portion on the listing every 14 days. That's a good idea. Also, on our acquisitions, we should be reducing the price by $500, by, by $1,000, just to changing it. Because every change that you do to the MLS, it triggers on some of the people that are watching your listing. Mm -hmm. Okay, some of the people now, they, they can... Save it. Huh? They can save it. They can save a listing uh, on their watch listings, yeah. and if there is any changes on that listing, um, it, it, pops it, right it pops up again into their search. When you so, whenever they sign on, it will, it will come on. Exactly. So what we could be doing is, on a weekly basis, even on the listing, let's say your listing, right? It doesn't sell. What's a thousand dollars to reduce it? You know what I'm saying? What's five hundred dollars just to make a change in your listing or rephrase the description? Okay? When you rephrase it the description, you could get a little more activity. So that might be an opportunity that we have to do on some of those listings that are not the, that doesn't move to get a price adjustment. You could adjust up or down. I mean, you could be playing, you know. The reciprocal is hard because you have to fax it and Sharon's going to get upset <laughs> doing the thing. <laughs> but the other thing for our listings, the ones that we control, we can do it on a 30-day listing and let it expire and relist it as a brand new listing and, and skip one day, yeah. okay? So on our listings, maybe we ought to start doing that. Oh. Your, some of your listings, you can do reciprocal and then do it on MLMLS. You can actually have two different... We are doing it. You are doing it. We are doing that. Every listing that we have, North Star, whether it's outside of the area or close to our area, is being listed in the MLMLS. Because I was looking at some of them, some of them only have one, like Alonso's listings. Okay. So just, you know. Okay, I gotta remind Vanessa yeah. because uh, our listings will, will go into our local area yeah. and then put on the reciprocal as well so that way we hit them in. He in probably did not, Alonso probably did not do reciprocal. Okay. That's Cause, probably under. Because uh, then you have to pay for the reciprocal. Yeah. yeah. So you need to take that extra step. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I, mean, I think it's, you can't afford not to get it into the local MLS. Can yeah. you? You, I, you can. Um, as a matter of fact, yesterday I was in the MLS and there is a, I mean, I was on the computer and the internet, I was surfing, uh, and I found out there is an agent in California that has a, like a for sale by owner type uh, a website where she's a member of 
the 67 multiple listing services wow. in California, okay? She does charge us a fee to, to the for sale by owners. I said something like between $299 and $29.99. And she has uh, about different choices, like choice A, you and, and she sells a lockbox, she sells a, a sign, she sells them a sign, a lockbox, uh, a posting on the local MLS. If you want to be posted in two MLSs, there's an extra hundred dollars. If you want to be posted, and, and I was thinking, and then she has a little click that says, brokers. If you don't belong to an MLS somewhere in California, I would do that, and she has a very nice way of I want marketing. To talk to her. Yeah, really. yeah, that's cool. Okay. Because well, the animal valley guy I've been using, he's just not interested, and he's and not, the listing is ours, one hundred percent. And it's not worth half okay. the listing to him. Okay. Can we really can we right. ask Mel to actually be a broker? He doesn't want to do it. Why not? Because so we have so much in San Bernardino. It's, it's, we don't have so much. Okay. We don't have enough to warrant the cost of doing being the member and paying the monthly fee on it. Because one commission over there will eat it up again. So, okay. I mean. But also being a member as a real estate agent, we have to do pay also like a regular dues? Yes. Oh, I'll forget that. And, the, and, and <laughs> some, of the, work. <laughs> some of the MLSs require not only the broker to be the member, but, but everybody underneath him underneath has yeah. to be a member. So then you get into the cut, you know, yeah. give, pay the $25, the $33, the $55, depending Plus on which year. And the yearly dues. Okay, the only thing you save is the National Association and the California. Yeah. But you still have to pay your local dues. And so Mel don't want to do it. But this opportunity, you get 100% instead of sharing. There you go. That's a good one. And so that's a good one. For, for a guy who doesn't want to do anything, I'm working with this TC. I'm having this, you know, we're just sending paperwork. Okay, if he twists his arm, he'll go drive over okay. and execute something. It's like, okay, that's, that's fine, except for not for 50% of the listing. I, I, I saw the website. It is internet Email marketing. Website. And so what she does is any inquiry that comes into her, she forwards to you. Email us his, her address. Okay, I'll have it Monday and I'll, I'll have a sheet on it so you guys can go and right. it costs either, anywhere either. between $2.99 and $2 $29.99. That's not bad. Either that or, you know, if I get a broker's license, I have enough going on in the Antelope Valley, I could go up and join. Yes. And then I don't have anyone under me, so it would only just be me. Yeah. Uh -huh. paper, yeah. anyone could in the office could use my... Access. Membership. For a price. For a price. Exactly. <laughs> I'll give you a dollar. Not for free. A dollar. Any, a back rub. <laughs> a back rub. <laughs> All right. Anything, anything else that you think we should do? I'll give you uh, coffee every morning. It's going to YouTube, okay? So, it's going to YouTube, so you know, I'm going to keep your comments. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs>